So, hello everybody, Drivenmore 16.1 is out and it brings many new goodies for the Mackie MCU protocol and especially da -da, for the Behringer X-Touch and its extender. Many thanks to Behringer for providing me these test devices because many people ask about these devices. And as you see, we also got shiny displays. We got color on these machines now, but to that in a second. First, I'm really impressed. The build quality is really good, especially if you imagine the price that you pay for it. So I think this is even metal here on front. Also, the motor faders don't make any sounds, only if they move. But uh, you know from other manufacturers, sometimes you get some scratchy effect even when doing nothing and this feels quite good and smooth here only a little bit the drawback is here the, the this style could be a bit smoother and also the knobs here are a bit on the wobbly side but nevertheless they work fine as well but stay tuned it's not only about the sparing devices it's also about many new features general for the good old Mackie MCU protocol but let's start out with these two buddies here and you can set them up now if you added the good old Mackie protocol here with add controller you need to add that manual because there are so many different devices supporting this format you have to do it yourself then there is no auto detection for that so Mackie, choose that and choose here the MCU protocol and depending on how many extenders you have you choose the matching one. I already did that up here and you see many parameters which all are described in the driven by Moss manual so read the manual carefully or you will miss many options which are available for this protocol. So and there are even new ones. There is this profile which makes this hardware setup because as I said the MCU protocol is used by many many devices and here now is also the X-Touch in the list and before that we had already the one but now there is also the X touch so you can select this profile and it will make the according settings you don't have to stick to that you can change anything you want what you see here there is now this new options which is especially here for the Behringer you can enable that and then you will get the colored display I also did another fix which normally it looks like that so there are also other devices which have individual displays for the different tracks normally on the original Mackie there is this only one large display so what you need to do is insert spaces so we'll notice all of the names have a space here at the end but for devices which already are separated displays this does not make sense to waste this one character so there is now this new option to use seven characters and then you will have the full use of the display here and see that as well. Let's have a look at how these colors work. So the sad news about this is there are only seven colors and there is black for sure as well. So not really eight, but it also indicates nicely that a track is really off. So if the track is not used at all, it's now fully black. So you can also easier spot which tracks are simply not used and off. The other ones are colors like blue and red, yellow and purple. This covers basically what you need. So for example, I have always this coloring here with drums are blue, red is my bass, synths are this brownish color and my vocals are always in that so actually that fits nicely to what is available. All other colors simply use the closest color we could check that so if you go here for that one this tickle down to this grayish thing okay brown is the next one red this doesn't match really but there is no brown in there. If you want to have a pure blue it's here on that color and so on. If you switch to track here that's also new if you go into the track display where only parameters of the track are visible I change now if you have enabled here as well that you want to have display of the track names then only the volume replaced by the current track name before that we had here also all track names of the tracks here which control the volume but I found this rather confusing so now only the first first one name or volume is replaced with the current track and I think this way it's a little bit easier to spot. So here is only the color of the currently selected track used for all the different parameters of this track which makes sense. So if you go here 
to another one which has a different color. So we would see all these will lit up in this color. So it makes it much easier to navigate your project. Same for sands, also the sands have a color of a track. Another nice thing which is here on the bearing is that we have a dedicated equalizer and a dedicated instrument mode selector. And since Bitwig 4, it's also possible to actually use that. So I already, in some other implementations, I added the equalizer and here we can do that as well. So if we go into the equalizer mode, so this is now true for all your Mackie uh, devices, not only for the Behringer. If your device has such an EQ button, you can go in there. And if the track does not have an EQ and I use the EQ plus for that, the Bitwig 1, then one is automatically added. So you see here, there is now automatically this EQ added. Let's just try that again, go to a different track and go back. You will have this EQ and you can switch here the pages with these ones. And the first one I changed to have all the settings for the first two. So we can enable that mode to low cut, for example, you can change the gain here straight away, frequency, Q, all these things. Also for the second one, we could also go here to bell curve and frequency. And yeah, this is rather nice for editing. And you can also go here to the second one and so on. And I changed this a bit. If you go here to the bit week parameter settings, in the parameter settings here for the equalizer, I added this band one, two and three, four. So we have all the necessary parameters on one page here for straight editing. And you don't have to flip through the different pages as it is in our original settings. But I kept this anyway. So for example, if you want to edit all the gains at once, you still have this page as well available. So, and as you also notice, the color I chose is this bluish color, which is also for the plugin used and also for the user parameters, I use that white. So if you map your own parameters and if we go here to the instrument, it also uses that color. So if we have, so there is no instrument, let's enable here track where I have an instrument on it so you see you can directly edit also the parameters of this instrument so it's pretty handy here you have always your equalizer and here you can always jump to the first instrument device on that track yeah let's hear a little bit of my music and here you see also LEDs working nicely but that's as we had it before and there's two more little features. So the drop button does now dedicatedly only duplicate the track. Before that, it was not sure what it actually did or duplicated. But I think clips do not make much sense here for this more mixer-oriented Mackie protocol. So drop does now simply and always duplicate your track. And you can undo that as well. So I also changed the behavior of the solo button. It does know more what it says here. So for example, if you did solo, let's go here to the volume here. If you did solo some channels at once, let's go here. Then you can simply press here now the solo buttons and everything will be back to playback. And you can also combine this with a shift button. So if you did the opposite, if you muted these tracks, for example, then you can do shift and solo and unmute all the muted channels. So that's about it. I think lots of new good ideas. And yeah, this is now also very, very nice. And I will definitely use this as my main mixing devices now in the future because this clearly indicates where you are. I see my drums, I see my bass, I see my keyboards with those color coding. So really, really nice addition to this good old protocol. And I hope you like it too. Dig it and make some funky music. <laughs>